Ooh. What do we have here? Look at this. Oh my. Oh. Let's go take this in here. This might be a good one here. <laughs> the other one was full of paperwork. I thought that's what we were about to see, but. these boxes are mystery boxes until we open up because there's no description on the outside besides how heavy it is and an email address this one is heavy let's kill the lord Got books, cookbooks, food, health, and happiness. And she put a little pink dot on this dish drying mat. It's new, but it's got a stain and then a pink dot. Oh my gosh, she did put pink dots on the little stuff. This lady has put a pink dot. It was on all the big stuff, the furniture, and we thought maybe it was that, but literally the stuff in the boxes all has a pink dot on it. Oh Look. This is crazy. I mean, look, this one little plastic container right here has a pink dot on it. All right, we got a nice um, I don't know what that name is. H E U G K Classics. It's like a enamel cast iron skillets here, and they've all got a little pink dot right here on the tip of it. <laughs> Some nice Rachel Ray oven mitts. Oh, yep, pink dot. But those are nice. Here's the world's most beautiful national parks book and pop. Right, as you can see, we got a lot of boxes here from this unit to, to look through. They're gonna be dishes, hopefully, not more broken glass. Like in that other one. I don't know if that one fell or what. I don't remember us dropping it, but it might have already fallen when they were putting it in here. What is this? We got a... Look at this thing. It's a Lodge cast iron enameled apple. It's a red apple pot. It looks like an apple. It's got the stem and everything. And of course, the little pink dot. All right, we have these two boxes that are all taped together, but it looks like they might be more chairs. Pretty sure that's what it's gonna be. It's gonna be two chairs of some sort. Let's see what it says here. Adrian multi-chair, whatever that is. So we'll crack these open and see, but it's probably gonna be, we've already gotten four chairs, accent chairs out of this unit. All right, here's this chair put together. Another accent chair, brand new, I just assembled. And there's actually one more of those to make a pair that's still in the box I haven't put together yet. So that makes um, six brand new accent chairs that came out of this unit here. All right, this box is marked light. So see if it's gonna be clothes or something like that. Let's 
see, this is Christmas it looks like. Yep. That is Christmas inside there. And let me open this just a little bit. And look, it's brand new decor. It's like a reindeer, a bunch of deer in there. And then look at all this brand new baby stuff. Man. Three piece nursery set. Crib liner. Uh, crib liner. Okay, that matches that. And there's the nursery set that matches that. Looks like a pillow down in here. Okay, I think these match the chairs that I've got out on the floor. Yep, I need to take these out and put them with it. A couple of the chairs that we have out on the floor. These go with, and that's it for that one. Actually, it's just one chair. I don't know if you necessarily need all these pillows for that or not, but we're going to put them there. Okay, what is this? Okay, this is like a little a, a trinket box, I believe. Let's see. It's a squirrel trinket box. Alright, so that's nice. Some of these can go for a lot of money. This one's not marked. It just says made in China, but... I've had them before that were worth a pretty good bit. But that one just because it it looks nice and there's a lot of people that like squirrels out there. So it should do alright. We got a little glass bear. Glass I love you bear. More kitchen towels it looks like. Oh that's a um, okay, an apron. Couple brand new aprons, apple pot holders. Let's see what this is. Oh, we got some kind of Linux. Linux something. Get it out of this box. I gotta get the box out of the box. It's stuck. Okay. Sham uh, shamrock stem set of four glasses. And that's what it is. Half a pint. That's cool. It looks like a little um, little milk carton, like an old cardboard milk carton, like you would have at school. All right, we got another. Looks like an apple item. It's an apple teapot. Apple teapot. For some reason, I don't know why it has the banana on the end. It's an apple teapot with a banana made in Taiwan. All right, we're moving along down this wall of boxes here, slowly but surely. Finding lots of good stuff. like kind of just general household stuff but let's move some of this and see what we're gonna find underneath a couple of um, <laughs> candles well used kind of nasty looking let's see
watermelon pitcher. There's something underneath here though. There's a nice utensil set. Anal, analon. And excuse me. This says Anno One. Also, it's an Anno One tool crop. So that's what you put all the Anno One utensils in, I guess. And more kitchenware, um, muffin pan down in there. Some of these things. There's some kind of pot here. Let's see. I think it's a cast iron, maybe. Then it's another um, enamel. Very nice. And it's that same or an Anno Lawn. Cast iron enamel coated. Really nice there. in the world but they made just little packets of paperwork I don't know if that's what all this is or not let's try this one Duct tape packaging all over everything. Ooh, what do we have here? Look at this. Oh my. Oh. Let's go take this in here. This might be a good one here. <laughs> the other one was full of paperwork. I thought that's what we were about to see. But... Let's see. This might be a good one. United States Mint. Holy crap, let's see. Look at this bad boy. It's a... What player is this? Jackie Robinson. It's a Jackie Robinson proof silver $1 coin. Look at that bad boy. 1997. Okay. So silver $1 coin. Obviously, that's going to be worth way more than $1. Here's another United States Mint. This is a Jackie Robinson uncirculated silver $1. Look at that. It's got Jackie Robinson sliding into home, I guess, on there. Let's see. Here we go. Here's another. Oh, this is American Eagle. One ounce proof silver bullion coin. Oh yeah, 1997. Look at that bad boy. That's nice. All right, this is a this is a good bag right here. Let us see what else we're gonna pull out. This is awesome. All right, a United States Mint Botanic United States Botanical Garden. Things are hard to get out of here. You gotta kind of pop them out. 
This one does not want to come out. I'm assuming this is silver, but I don't see anything. There's not a paper to tell me that yet, so but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a silver coin. One dollar. It doesn't say that it's silver, but that does definitely does not mean that it's not. I'll have to, oh, there it is, right there. Okay. Um, uncirculated silver dollar. Nineteen ninety seven botanical garden. It's a nineteen seventy proof set. It's a little bit older. A lot of them you see are not, you know, a lot more newer than this that I end up finding. Yep, it's a nineteen seventy proof set. All right, let's see what else we're gonna find. Um, here's the box for something. Um, let's see here. Okay, here's the um, Lincoln Wheat Ear Scent Collection. It's heavy. So I don't know if it's all the way full or not, but it's heavy. Oh, and that one's coming out there. Is that the right one? 1953 D. Yep, that's it. So this is the whole, whole set from 19... 41 to 1958 on the wheat pennies whole set there what a box this is all right what do we got here oh man look at this morgan silver dollars 1901 1921 1921 not sure on those these without popping them out but that's awesome right there let's keep pulling stuff out let's see what we got there's another american eagle Platinum coin. Oh, look at this. One tenth, one tenth ounce proof platinum coin, 1997. I've never gotten a platinum coin before. I've gotten gold and obviously silver, but I've never gotten a platinum coin. That's awesome. So let's see. Oh, there's one little coin. A little one cent. From Brazil, just hanging down the bottom of this bag. All right, let's see. Is this going to be more coins in here? Or is it something else? And I think it's going to be more coins. Look at this box right here. It's, the box is kind of coming apart, but I think it's got a bunch of coins in it. Here we go. 150 years, America's most famous coins. The box is kind of falling apart. So what do we have? United States half dollar set. Look at all these. Um, historic coin collection. We got a Morgan silver dollar, peace dollar, bicentennial dollar, an Eisenhower dollar. Then we come right here. We got all the dimes. United States dime set. Then we come here. We've got all the quarters. And then we've got nickels. And then we come down here. What is this one right here? This is a Carson City uncirculated silver dollar, 1884. Look at this thing, the condition this is in. Amazing. Is there anything else under it? Yep, there's another. I think this does not go with that. This is, an, is still part of this little collection right here. This is the penny set. Going back to the copper nickel set all the way up to still wartime scent um you got the large scent right there 1855 all right put these back in there too bad the box is coming apart but Let's see what else we got in here what is this oh crap we got change down here in the bottom I think this is full of coins besides <laughs> there's a couple little just loose pieces right here all right let's see what this is wonderful world of collecting 50 coins 50 countries 
Okay, there's a couple missing, so I don't know if they've fallen out down in here or they just didn't have them, but coins from different countries. New York Mint. Um, dang, on, look at this thing. Year 2000. One ounce silver dollar here from the New York Mint. Look at all these coins. George Washington half dollar. We got a little proof set right here. Um, here's another, what is this? Here's an old Indian head penny. A couple of little mercury head dimes. Um, more proof sets there. 1960 penny. We got some just loose. I'll have to check and see if these go with anything. Bicentennial silver uncirculated set. Yeah, right there we got the quarter. Dollar and half dollar. Three piece, 40% silver uncirculated set. My goodness. Let's just dump. Alright. Let's dump all this. Woo. And dump all this out. Look at all this. Holy crap. Look at all the coins here. What is this? We got a 1908 Liberty Head. Or 1905, sorry. American Nickels of the Century. We got Nickels from 1883 to present. There. This is a Columbus Exposition half dollar. 1893 or 1898. Commemorative half dollar. Um, some little just kind of collectible coins. Here's another proof set. This is actually from, that's from Canada. Um, several different coins. Nickels, look at all this. 1945 Shell UNC Wheat Penny. Um, more half dollar. There's a half dollar in there. Several older coins in there with that half dollar. There's an old 1877 coin of some sort. It's kind of hard to see. And other half dollars in there. Proof set. Here's another. Okay, 1928 silver dollar. And a, goodness, uh, 1884 silver dollar from the New York Mint and more proof pieces and that's the one I already looked at all right let's see is there more in this my goodness another loose coin I'll have to figure out if, if any of these loose coins go with anything or, or what the case is okay holy crap look at this From 1964, 65. Okay, from 1964 all the way to 96 on the Kennedy half dollars. And it looks like there was actually a lid to this. There's a hinge right there and it broke off. And here's some more loose. This might be from those coins of the world. I don't know. And look at this. Oh. Look at this. 19 Okay, it's all oh, okay, it's proof sets from 1954 all the way to 1963. It's got the penny, nickel, dime, quarter, and I guess it's the half dollar. But yeah, 1954 the whole set and every year between there and 1963. At some point somebody paid $175 for this. Are there any more coins in here? There are loose. There's a bunch of loose coins. Look at this. 
Another silver dollar, 1923. Man, there's a bunch of loose ones just in the bottom. Here's another silver dollar, um, 1883. You hear that clink? You know it's silver then. Here's another silver dollar, 1900. Hear that? Listen to this clink. When it's silver. 1972 so that would not be silver on the quarter but lots of loose coins here some of them are just some of its foreign money it's probably all i bet that one envelope that had the foreign stuff is actually all there once we piece it you know piece it back together they've all just fallen out man look at this i thought this was just going to be like that last packet like this was all um just trash paperwork and stuff but we ended up with all these coins I mean, my goodness, tons of silver coins here, and even a platinum coin. Let me go out to this box again because there was still some more of these little packets and see, is there any more coins? Thinking that was probably gonna be all the coins, all in that one thing right here, but you never know, let's see. This has got some weight to it right here. Man, what if this is more coins? Wouldn't that be crazy? Kind of feels like it might be. Kind of feels like maybe. I don't know. I don't know. It's looking like just paperwork now, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I felt. I just. I thought it was just. I was hoping, I guess. So I thought it was. Okay. I can kind of see through that and see more paper. But you never know. Let's get it open. Check and make sure. Definitely looks like a bunch of junk paper, though. And what if somebody just saw a couple of these and thought it was all paper and then threw them away without finding that one envelope there with all the coins in it and what is this it's like more paperwork Lots of paperwork. What is this right here? I think it's a book. But, yeah. Little book. So, 90% of the box was just these packets of trash. But there was the one big one. Jackpot duct tape bag envelope in there full of the coins. That was awesome. Alright, this box has a Sony DVD home theater system box in it let's see if we can pull this out oh, good lord it's heavy i'm thinking it might be what's actually in it because it's really heavy kind of like you would expect something like this to be oh lord look at me maybe i turn the box I don't know if that's what's in it or not. Let's see. Of course, we got the duct tape. They've got duct tape on everything. Okay, I don't... don't think. Well, well, hold on. I see square shapes inside the bags. Come on.
goodness gracious. We got tools and surge protectors and cords and everything here. More cords, hardware. Okay, here it is. We got the Sony speakers in here, the small ones. Then we also got a Fujifilm 8 gigabyte memory card. Oh, and a little Sony Cybershot. Nice and clean camera. It's even got the charger and the strap and everything in there. And one other thing, I guess that was probably the case they bought for the camera. Okay, so that's the small speaker. And I think this is the subwoofer. And then that's the receiver. So I think the whole thing is in here. Okay, yep. So we got the subwoofer. It looks pretty clean. And the receiver. And the receiver is looking, looks good. This has, of course, the pink dot that's on everything. The pink dot of paint. All right, I was just kind of loading up all these coins, kind of cleaning them up and putting them in a, a bag after, you know, I'd kind of dumped everything out and was looking at it in the video as I was finding it. Just a couple of coins I'm going to show. I haven't looked up hardly anything, but I looked up a couple of coins here. This one right here, this uncirculated silver dollar, 1884 Carson City. Um, this thing right here is, is $400 and up is what it's selling for. Just depends, you know how quick you want to sell it and you know and all that kind of stuff and where you're selling it at but at four hundred dollars and up some of them i've seen people asking way more than that um this little this one little platinum coin here one tenth of an ounce this thing right here it's two hundred dollars some places a little bit more so that's six hundred dollars right there and then also i didn't even see this one originally when we went through it um, we've got a one-tenth ounce gold. It's a 1999 gold American Eagle coin here. And this thing right here is $200 and up. So that's 800 bucks. You know, quick sell right there on these three coins. If, you know, if I decided to sell them, but most likely not. I'm just going to hang on to these. But that's not bad for these three little coins right here. And that's not including all the coins down in this bag right here and then these probably ain't really worth much these are i think most of these foreign coins go into this book right here but i don't know there could be something in here worth something i don't really know nothing about none of these coins but not a bad haul surprise bag there it's funny because you know, easily could have ended up throwing this stuff away if you weren't careful because everything else in that box was literally just trash, just junk mail and paperwork. And this one bag little pouch that they had made up was full of coins. All right, we're down to the last batch on going through this unit here. We got these boxes here to look through. It was a wall going all the way down there, so we've gotten a lot of good stuff out. Let's see what else we're going to find in this last little bit here. Right, let's see. Keep hoping there's gonna be more coins, but I haven't found any more coins, so probably not. But now that I found some, I keep hoping that maybe there'll be more. Look at this right here electrostatic carpet sweeper. Looks like. 
Is it a brand new hair dryer? It is. Brand new hair dryer. Here's a a brand new bonnet. Bonnet dryer. What is this here? Small world antique globe. <laughs> All right, what do we get in this box here? Ooh, kitchen. Oh my, look at this. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah. So, Lee is gonna like this. <laughs> Leah. I just found something that you're gonna love. I just found something you're gonna love. Uh oh, you are gonna love it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's a pink KitchenAid mixer. I think that it's pretty much new. Yeah. It's five quart. This is the the bigger one. Yeah, there's a smaller one. Yeah, I have the bigger one. Like the Artesian design. Does yeah, metal? glass bowl, flat beater, dough hook. Are they metal? Um, I don't know. I pull it all the way out to see, but. <laughs> When you want to trade yours out? <laughs> Didn't the other one come out of a storage unit? <laughs> so we're going to swap our KitchenAid out for this one so she can have this pink one here. <laughs> Raspberry Ice is the actual name of the color. But it's like kind of, you know. Yeah. All right, so I found the, looks like a brand new KitchenAid mixer. And, but Lee is going to keep it, but we have a really nice one at home that we're going to bring and sell. She's just going to swap it out because it's white, but it's one that she found in a unit a long time ago. It was brand new in, a, in another storage unit a couple years ago. So that was a good box. <laughs> 